uh, to talk about the Fondation Flavia in Monaco. Hi, Daniela. Hi, Rob. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Tell us about the charity, please. Well, it's an old-year-old Monegasque charity that uh, basically raises awareness and funds for pediatric cancer research. Unfortunately, the governments um, throughout Europe and the US today are only dedicating very small amount of uh, money for that kind of research, around 2 to 4% maximum of all the budgets allocated to cancer research are allocated to specific pediatric cancer research. And pediatric cancers, unfortunately, are neither treated nor responding the same way as the adult cancers to the currently available medications. And uh, the founder of the charity, Denny, has a personal story in this. Absolutely. He unfortunately lost last year his um, eight-year-old boy after a four-year fight with um, a brain tumor. And um, that moved the entire principality and um, everybody feels very much related to his story. It must be a terribly traumatic thing to have to go through to lose a child, especially under those circumstances. But uh, Denny's been very brave and has set up this foundation to try and uh, help other people who may be facing the same situation. Absolutely. There are way too many parents. They're trying to fight this alone and um, trying to help them out, help the children in the hospitals, help with the finding new treatments and uh, financing researchers who are trying to progress with that. And uh, what's the Fondation Flavian doing to try and raise money? We have several events every year and our flagship event is taking place this Saturday, October the 3rd. Um, we are having what we call the Monaco Trot and Roll. It's our second edition. And trot and Roll. Absolutely, because uh, the children <laughs> will be able to either use, you know, trottinets mm -hmm. <laughs> or um, um, rollerblades um, and skateboards um, to have fun the entire day and uh, we raise funds through that um, and we take only a symbolic one euro participation uh, fee but actually last year we managed to get a quite a lot of money through our tombola and um, through our um, sponsors and partners who wanted to pitch in and help out with yes. that kind of research we were able to donate 15,000 euros to the Bordeaux Research Institute for Cancer, which was able to actually finance some very specific um, technology that they didn't have. So they, they were able to buy, buy material uh, and um, progress in their research through that aid. I suppose a lot more research is needed, but so are there any signs of a breakthrough? Well, there are different um, teams working around both Europe and the United States and Australia particularly trying to find a breakthrough. There's new, new therapies that are progressing. Um, the trouble is that we need to find ways to adapt um, the treatments to every child because every child's situation is different and every child's needs for treatment are different. And we have to find technologies that are able to basically allow us to fit the treatments to the specific problem of each child and uh, that's where we need more progress. Because the clear-up rates for cancer um, vary amazingly from country to country but France is, is, is usually fairly good. Not as far as pediatric no? cancers right, go okay. unfortunately. There is very little research done. Um, it is unfortunately um, not financially viable for most pharmaceutical companies to finance that kind of research because there is only a limited amount of children, unfortunately, in their eyes, um, that are worth that treatment. Uh, so, because it has to be so specific and not some generic medicine that would heal all possible pediatric cancers, um, unfortunately, it's not, uh, they won't have enough return on investment in order to invest in it, and the government isn't doing much to step in uh, and compensate for this market failure, basically. Um, so here we are trying at our level to basically bridge that gap. Well, Trot and Roll is taking place this coming Saturday, the 3rd of October. Where's it happening? It's happening um, in front of the brand new buildings um, at the Allée Lazare sous Vigo. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to have also events happening in front of the new Lycée Technique and Atelier. So we have all the esplanade there uh, covered with all sorts of um, workshops for children. They're going to have uh, the possibility to trot and to roll, obviously. Uh, but uh, they'll also be able to um, participate in all sorts of workshops. They are going to have face painting. They're going to have um, um, tattoo and they're going to have uh, the possibility to participate in dance workshops and Zumba workshops in video and photo workshops. They'll be able to play board games. They'll be able to have 
all sorts of fun activities, most of them for free uh, the entire day. And in the evening, we have a brand new activity as well, which is the first rock concert of our foundation, uh, the Monaco Trot and Rock, <laughs> which <laughs> is going to take place starting from 6.30 p.m. Um, at the Espace Le Opéré. We have um, the band De Lumba playing mm -hmm. first, and then we have the young Monegasque um, singer Olivia Dorato, who's gonna do the second part. And there's a big surprise at the third part with the two DJs having a DJ fight <laughs> <laughs> to dance through the night. That sounds great. So this coming Saturday, uh, don't forget the uh, the crash helmets and the uh, the arm pads and, Absolutely. and the knee pads. We are very, 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 very keen on setting that message through. Parents, please do not forget to bring all sorts of protections for your children. We will have some for rent in case you have accidentally forgotten them, but we're counting on you uh, to bring um, everything to keep the children safe. That's our major goal throughout that day. Have them happy and have them safe. Excellent, and uh, anybody's welcome to attend. Is there a website where people can find out more? Absolutely, uh, well, you can find us on Facebook uh, at uh, Fondation Flavien and Nouvel Espoir. You can also find us uh, online on our website uh, www.fondationflavien.com. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about that. It's, it's a very important and, and tragic subject, and we hope you raise lots of money this coming weekend. It sure is. Thank you very much, Rob.